Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Monsters of Gaming. With I'm Necro Nick, and with me is Kaju K. Woo, Kaju K. And there's my horrifying freaking artwork. You're talking about your amazing artwork. You're obviously smiling. You're either stab. You're either strangling a man who has no arms and legs, or shooting magic. We're gonna go with the magic, me okay. being Necro Neg. It's getting for me, I mean, it's corpse, but I can't draw it, Manny! Quit trying to blame Zoa for this. Even though it's his fault. I mean, anyways, uh, <laughs> so, uh, what we have is Necro Nick's top 10 weapons of gaming. Yes. Uh, if you remember correctly, my list, uh, started and ended, uh, pretty substantially with lots of things that go kaboom and explosions and loud noises. Yeah. For a guy that really prefers stealth, I had very few stealthy weapons. Necker, on the other hand, likes to go big and he likes to go bad, so who knows? Maybe uh, maybe this will be his chance to uh, redeem himself. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, who knows? So it's up to you to decide. All right, so you got about uh, five seconds, so get ready to call on your number ten. Well, at number ten, it is the gravity gun from Half-Life 2. Oh yes, this gun's amazing. You can pretty much grab anything and throw it at your opponent, including like saw blades, explosive barrels, bats for Christ's sakes. I've, I've actually picked up parts of cars, tires, pieces of lumber. Once you get this gun, you tend not to use ammunition very much in the game. I mean, I'm still waiting for Half-Life 3, but we all know that's never going to show up. Uh, I will grab a tire iron instead of grabbing it with my fist. I'm going to grab it with my gun and beat you with it. <laughs> I just fired at you now. Hey, this is a good gun. I would have also preferred to see him put the rocket launcher from Fallout 3. That's an honorable mention from my list, though, that I forgot to put up. Um, yeah, one, you get the gravity gun fairly early in the game, actually. Um, and it, it just you just F people's laurels up afterwards. Uh, um, not to mention, it looks really, really badass. Uh, it's the beginning of what I believe it's the beginning of the portal gun. Actually, I believe the portal gun was based off of the gravity gun. I do believe so. Um, I have to go look into lore for that, but I'm not gonna go into this one. Anyways, eh, it's pretty dang good for the start off. Uh, get ready for your number t nine. Not number nine. It's from one of my favorite game series, Assassin's Creed. It's a saga nonetheless. Oh, the hidden gun. I love that no, one too. No, no, blades. Get it right. Oh, the hidden gun. No, hidden blades, motherfucker. Okay, fine. The hidden blade, yes, the special assassin's tool used by all the white cow wearing assassins that no one seems to be able to pick out of a crowd of people. Yes. You could literally sneak and hide in between three people and then quick gut somebody and still walk with them. It's an amazing little trick. Yeah, and you know, just, just, yeah. Well, you yeah. know, this guy running around in all white up on rooftops. What kind of cause trouble can he cause? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think that somebody would be looking going, huh, that just ain't right right there. But you know, the Hidden Blade is a nifty weapon, and in, I think part two you got the dual Hidden Blades. Yes. And what was it, part f four you got the Hidden Gun. I believe so. That's... And then one of them you also got the Hidden Crossbow. I think that might have been the third one. All right, so you, you get all kinds of hidden weapons. The hidden blade is a pretty cool one. Hidden blade was throughout the whole game. Right. You know, I'm serious. It was one that was trademarked. Getting ready for number eight coming up. Number eight is from Call of Duty Zombies. Any of the zombies games, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3, I believe, has it as well. Yes, it does. And it is the ray gun. Here it is a literally what it says. It's an alien weapon tech that shoots out a beam of rays that disintegrates its target. And I believe I don't know if the original ray gun has it or if it's when it's pack and punch, but it has a AOE. Effect. The pack and punch one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a good all around weapon. I can't remember how the ammunition works for it, but uh, I think it actually had low ammunition. Actually, in the second one, it didn't have bad ammunition. It oh. had like 200 rounds. Oh, jeez, that's nice. It's a but, nifty gun. It's very colorful, too. Like, all the uh, other weapons in Call of Duty, it's always like... Uh, it's, it's unless if you have a camo, like, special camo, it looks pretty normal for a military. Well, yeah, yeah, well. But... I could get to that. As I said, this is only used in zombies, though. So. Time for a little Gears of War, eh? Oh, hell yeah. 
The Torque Bow! <laughs> what were you waiting on? The Torque Bow, yes, from the Gears of War saga. It's in all of them, including Judgment, which never existed. Well, nah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You get to pay, play as my favorite character. The Coal Train. No. Oh. Who else is there to play as? Bob, Barrett? Yeah, I love Barrett. I'm sorry. He's just such a hassle. Uh, what I love about this thing is, first of all, they call it a bow, but the arrows you fire are the size of a fucking javelin. Yes. They stick into whatever they hit and explode. It's always funny to watch the enemies run around trying to pull it out. Yeah. And, and it's it, only a half second uh, fuse time. Right. And then it, once you get to melee, it's a freaking dual bladed yeah. sword, you know? I mean, all around, it's a badass weapon. Uh, once again, you know, it's, it's ammunition isn't, isn't bad. And you can use it for a lot of the I game. I believe it's up to 12 rounds that you can have. Yeah, but by the time you... Once you finally get it, enemies start dropping it regularly. Yeah. So, I mean... You know, there are worse guns in that game. You know, any of the beginning assault rifles, except for, of course, the uh, Lancer. But enough of that. How about we uh, ratchet and clank our way into this next one, huh? It is the Morpho Ray. Hell, if you want to embarrass your freaking enemies, turn them into chickens! Yes, yes, the Morpho Ray, the handy dandy way to make any enemy into a useless fowl. I mean, come on, what's more humiliating than just turning them into a chicken and say killing them? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, the Ratchet and Clank series also had a number of really useful guns. Oh, yeah. Suction gun, the, the one that created little robots that spawned yeah. out and attacked for you. I mean, it was a great all around game. If you guys haven't had a chance to play it, please get a chance to play any of the Ratchet yeah. and Clanks except for Going Commando. Um, that one sucked horrible. Mm, um, never played it. And then Agent Clank was pretty bad, but that's where you only played as Clank. It was more like a puzzle solver than anything. Oh. But the Morpho Ray is fun, and of course, like all the guns in the game, you can upgrade it to become longer range and longer effect and everything. It was, it was just a, a, a great all-around gun when you got it from the beginning, and it wasn't easily uh, replaced. I guess that's what I'm just trying to get to. Right, right. Um, I can't remember which one it was in, because I think it was only in one. Um, uh, anyways, uh, I'm getting I'm getting into the dark with this one. What do you think about the next one? Uh? Ah, you mean from Perfect Dark? It is the far sight. Oh, man. What a fucking cheating gun that is. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of the cheapest cheating guns you could get in a game. You can literally see through walls, shoot through them, and hit multiple targets and kill them. If it wasn't that bad enough, the weapon didn't give off a lot of noise, so enemies didn't really find you too easily. Yes, this is true. It had an amazing range. You could see through multiple walls, walls. with it and just hit like several guys with it. Ammunition wasn't very hard to find. No, Solid Snake should have had this shit. Oh, Solid Snake <laughs> had better than that. He had... Octagon. He's a gay lover. I'm sorry, anyways, folks. <laughs> uh, now, the, the, this perfect dark weapon was a perfect reason why you wanted to be very careful in that game. Um, eh, the thing that sucked was when you got into the multiplayer and people picked one of these up, then it just became, you know, you camped out where the ammunition was and you just sat and looked through walls and shot them as they came towards yeah. you. It was it, That was pretty cheap. Uh, oh, sorry. I feel I feel like my doom's coming upon me. Oh, I'm not feeling good. Uh, I'm gonna sing the doom song now. Doom, 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 doom. That might be trademark. But anyway, <laughs> Doom, one of the most horrifying games you could ever play. A good way. And when you think of Doom, you only think of three letters to describe this weapon. B F G. The biological feedback gun. No, the big fucking gun, you Well, that's what, the, that's what the actual term is. I don't give a fuck. It's the big fucking gun. It shoots a giant blob of plasma. Or god juice, as I like to call it. Well, actually, if you want to be technical, it fires out a nano chip that then directs the plasma to detonate and explode only on targets that aren't you. Yes. It turns, everything, <laughs> it turns everything on your screen into a gore fest. Yeah, basically, it is the ultimate gore fest, be honest. And it's also said to be handed down by gods themselves. Yeah, well, the, the idea was. Yes. And then we made it. It sort of came from the whole, uh, the whole the de super cube or whatever it is, hyper cube, death cube, whatever they call it. I forget. I'll yeah, put it down yeah. in the invitations. Um, the only thing that truly sucked about this gun was how they portrayed it in the movie. They could have made that movie so much oh, better. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they, they made it into a real kill zone, I'm telling you. Too much of a kill zone. Uh. 
Oh, you mean like Killzone 2 and the VC5 arc rifle. Riffle. Rifle. Riffle. Shut up. This weapon shoots lightning. I mean, really not much more to say about this gun. Well, it tracks after shooting them. It kills the enemy, and that's what's often to different ones as well. You could say it has a shocking, shocking personality. personality. Oh, James Nakamura. Oh, yeah. No, the, the Arc Rifle is another one of those good guns from a very good game, and not a lot of people played the Kill Zone series. So nah. I suggest if you get a chance, give it a try. Give it a try. It's honestly a good game. It, it's not the worst first-person shooter game in the world. Nah. I've played plenty of those, but yeah. you know, it has a charm to it. The, the weapons and the storyline—they have a bit of a charm to them that just screams America, America. But we're not there yet. Aww. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother, but you still have another 15 seconds of filler to make up. Oh, fuck. Well, anyway, I think this gun's amazing. Having a chain lightning freaking gun that tracks people? Damn. The ammunition was also kind of easy to find, not to horribly hard to find, but but now I guess you could say it's America! Oh yeah! God. The America weapon from Saints Row 4. Hey, I include that one in mine. Oh, go to hell. This weapon literally <laughs> fires everything you can imagine. It has a knife thrower, grenade launcher, machine gun, shotgun, pistol, assault rifle, and your choice of either the rocket launcher or the flamethrower. That wasn't bad enough. It also sings uh, Uncle Sam, Here I Am, da, 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 when you fire it. And the best, it only uses assault rifle ammo. Yes, 5.6 5. mm. Which is really strange seeing as it fires rockets and throws knives I mean, look and at shotgun shells. I mean, it, it's literally a freaking a thing you'd see at the end of the world, uh, like Doomsday, you know. Or could you say Armageddon? I could indeed, but we're almost there. Uh. Um, the best thing about this gun was just, okay, the entire Saints Row 4 game just took itself so unseriously. That, True. That, uh, I mean, come on, you did have the freaking dubstep. Yeah, they, they, both of us, our top ten lists contained one of the big guns from that game. I mean, seriously. It's just a good, fun game. It's oh, yeah. such a satire game. But you know what? Now I feel like it's time to pick a faction. Uh, a red how about, faction. How about red faction Armageddon where you get oh, Mr. Yeah. Toots? Oh, brony fans around the world unite. There's actually a My Little Pony weapon. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's far more badass than that. Oh, hell yeah. This puts the freaking base cannon to shame. Mr. Toots is only available after you beat the game once through. No, no, no. There is a, apparently a secret part of one quest that you could get it. Early? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, the one, uh, the website that I was on getting the info had it on there. Oh. You can also get it by going through the game once. Yes. Mr. Toots basically has unlimited ammo, fires as long as you hold down the button, and the look on his face is just... Just so awfully funny that he's just in such a torture as he's just farting out death rainbows. I guess he's the best way to put it. Um, it shoots out rainbows of destructions, I shit you not. Oh, man, that was in really poor taste. That, that left the bad taste in my mouth. Oh, you stink, dude. <laughs> oh, oh P.U. I am sorry. Anyways, this 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 is a, just a really cool weapon all together. It's kind of one of them game-ending god weapons, though. Once you get it, you don't... I want to see else. this up against your freaking dubstep. I'm gun. willing to do it. I'm willing to see the challenge. Things I've got better range and AOE than you do. <laughs> kind of have to hit me dead on. True. But that's uh, Necronix top ten weapons of gaming. You know, leave your comments below to see if you liked or did not like. I mean, if you didn't like the gun weapons, you will say why. You know. Yeah. And I'll throw us out your own top ten list. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing what everyone else's top ten weapons are. At least your number one. Yeah. But until then, um, I'm just going to say, you know, uh, thank you guys once again for watching. Well, as we of, appreciate it. Yeah, as of this date, we're actually up to 18, 18 subscribers, subscribers, which is the uh, 15th of November. We're getting there, folks. And only another 120 so views until you get to see what my ugly mug looks like. So, until next time, I'm Kaiju K. I'm Nick or Nick. And peace out, everybody. Peace. So, uh, God damn it, help. Was that, was that really it? Did you just cry out for Zoe's help? Do you not see our drawings? I think it's masterfully beautiful. Uh. <laughs>